Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. What's up? What's up? Winning Cures Everything NFL Week 10 Previews. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. And we have got a short stack to play with this week. We, aren't, we ain't going over a bunch, but we did talk about some more in the gambling picks. So make sure that you go check out our NFL gambling picks against the spread. Uh, that's a different video, a different podcast, etc. Make sure and listen to that one because we talk about a few more over there. Show as always brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books. We love all of them. We cannot recommend them enough. Go check them out for yourself. Go find some information on it, tunicatravel.com. If you're coming from out of town, it's a perfect spot to go watch any of the biggest events. They got some incredible stuff going on down there. Golf courses, concerts, they got some spas, they got some steakhouses, everything about Tunica, we love. We appreciate what they do. We appreciate what they bring to the show. Go enter the football pick'em contest over at winningcureseverything.com. They sponsored that as well. Great prizes over there. Free night stay. Gift certificates to the steakhouses and whatnot. Uh, go check it out. Football Picks Contest over at winningcureseverything.com. It's right up there in the navigation bar. You will appreciate it, I think. It's uh, super easy to enter. takes about two minutes. Enter your name, enter your email. Select some multiple choice. It's 10 games a week. See what you can do. Denise won last week with an 8-2 and record and won the tiebreaker. So, let's go on and jump in. Oh, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave some comments. Just try not to be so nasty. Some of y'all kind of nasty. You know, I'm just saying. Some people have been really nice this year, though. Yeah, some people have been really nice. Some we, people, we man. Some nice folks. Some people have been calling names and stuff. And I just. Y'all better than that. Like, we, we know we got some good listeners and some good viewers on this thing. Y'all, shine that positive light because we need it. <laughs> we so enough need it. Let's, uh, let's fire in. Let's talk about the biggest game of the weekend. And I think that that is going to be in Dallas, Texas, or in Arlington. Anyway. I think so, too. I think Vikings, this is the biggest game. Yeah, Vikings going down to the Cowboys. Uh, this sets up a whole lot of different playoff scenarios. Yep. Cowboys need the win to stay, you know, up in the, uh, the NFC East. Vikings need to stay, you know, way up there with the Packers and whatnot in the NFC uh, North. Cowboys are a three-point favorite. Total is 48. Cowboys looked good against the Giants. Vikings play well in domes, not so much outside. I, I'm going to, I'm going to make a pick. Okay. I'm taking the Vikings to win this game. I think the Cowboys beat up on lesser teams. I do too. I think when they run up against a team that is as good or better than them, they kind of fall all over themselves. And I don't think know what defensively do. the Vikings are better than most of the teams the Cowboys have played all year. They might be the best defense they've played against. I haven't really paid attention to their schedule, but I, yeah. I can't off the top of my head think of a tough defense that they've played so far. I think uh, I think you're right. And, think you're and right. I also think Kirk Cousins is playing well. Cowboys defense doesn't look great. They look good against bad competitions in Western the Jets, and then they look bad. So I, I, I think – I think I like the Vikings here a lot. Yeah, I, I do as well. I do as well. Um, Kirk Cousins, you know, wait, he needs he needs to look good. He needs to look better. Over the last five weeks, even though he lost last week, over the last five weeks, he's got the number one passer rating in football. Yeah. he's. I, I mentioned to you the other week about him possibly being an MVP candidate. Yes, I don't think he's that because I think the three gentlemen at the top of that list that are quarterbacks are head and shoulders above him, um, and that would be one Hustle and Bustle Russell, uh, Watson, and um, holy crap, my mind just went blank. Man. I don't know which one you're you're going for here. There's, there's another guy. It's not Aaron Rodgers? It's not Patrick Mahomes because he's no, been it's out. Not Patrick Mahomes. It's not Tom Brady because no, it's, it's been more Tom defense. Brady. Oh, it's Lamar. Sorry. Oh, Lamar Jackson. I apologize. Okay, I knew that. And I knew it was going to be a name. It's just somebody I just forgot. Um, those three have just been so much better than him. They're more dynamic. They do far more things. They're more exciting to watch. And then this could be the year that, that we give it to a non-quarterback if all three of those guys kind of maybe fall off or get hurt, don't play a game. And what McCaffrey is doing is something we – I don't know that we've ever seen. 
It's entirely possible so, that he could uh, um, he could do it if they keep winning with Kyle Allen. Yep, so hundred percent. So that's that's why I don't think it it's not a knock on Kirk at all. It's just a yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Competition. Let's uh let's move into the next one. Monday Night Football. Seahawks at the 49ers. Divisional I think this is the game. Best game of the weekend, by the way. It it might be. This is the best game of the it, weekend. Yeah, it might be. All right, so one In and my two. Opinion. One and two, flip flop them, whatever. Uh but yeah, 49ers, six point favorites, forty six and a half is the total. Seem seemed like a lot of points initially. No, I but think, I think these teams are gonna put up points. I think they are too. Seattle's defense is not real good. And uh Bosa's going to get some sacks. They'll probably take the ball away a couple of times from Seattle, but but it won't. Seattle's still going to score. Yeah. I don't I, think you're shutting Wilson down. I don't think you are either. I, th- I think what the 49ers front seven is fantastic. Oh, yeah. They and, and they will stop the run. But I think that plays right into Seattle's hands. Seattle wants to be able to run the football. But if you force Russell Wilson to throw, I mean, it, Josh Gordon coming in for this game. You got back, DK Metcalf. Back, back four is what scares me. Like it, they they got some dudes, and Russell Wilson don't miss. He is accurate no, as they get. No. Yeah, no, so he's, he's been incredible. I will tell you this: the last time I thought a team was going to go into San Francisco and play them close and have a shot to win the game, I think they beat him like forty six to thirteen. I don't remember the what final was that? score. Fi- that what was it? Game. No, it was fifty one to fifty one to thirteen. I think that's right. So I think it was like 51 50. to 13. Yeah. You're right. So, like, yeah. I, that, Who was that that they beat? The Panthers. Uh, that's that's the, right. That's the last time I thought this might happen. And so, in this opportunity for us to make picks, I'm going to just stay with the 49ers. Okay. I'll, I'll let you take the 49ers. I'm going to take the Seahawks to cover. I don't like betting against Russell, but this is a different beast. Yeah, it really does seem like it, doesn't it? It, it really does seem like it. So I, I I do like the Seahawks here though I I think they can they can get some points against that secondary. I uh, think so too. I mean I saw some some. Uh, let me tell you what I want. I saw see some problems game. with with Arizona being able to score on them last week. Let, let me tell you what I want to see in this game. I don't know that we're gonna see it because it's the way the matchups work. I'd really like to see both of these rookie receivers break out. Now we've seen DK just be a stud. Yeah, I I love Debo. I kind of called it before the season started. I think he's going to be the best receiver out of this bunch when it's all said and done. As of right now, today, he's not close to what DK's done. But I think that's they've got a lot of weapons on the 49ers, and the Seattle doesn't have a lot of weapons. So DK's just obviously getting more more volume, but DK's also been way more dominant. Yeah, he's that's a big dude, man. He's he's unreal. He, he is a monster. He really is. Uh, he, one of my good friend's sons, actually played high school football with him at Oxford. I mean, that guy at Oxford High School. Was, well, yeah, that's not fair. It's not fair because he's not a lot smaller than he is now. Then no, he was a physical specimen, yeah. as they would say. You, you watch and he's, these he's high still. School, you watch these high school football highlights of guys just dominant, but and it looks like I mean, it looks like a. Twenty-something year old man playing against fourteen-year-old. Yeah, and that's—I mean—that's. I'm what telling it, you, I would—I say this all the time. I would be undefeated in fighting if if I only fought nine-year-olds. That's that's a very good point. That's a good point. All right, let's move on. Let's talk Panthers at the Packers. Packers are a five-point favorite. Packers did not look good last week. Total is forty-seven on this one. It's at Lambeau. Um, not good is an understatement. That's you got that right. That's it, a the, team that I thought was dead in the Chargers. And, and they ooh, dominated. They beat their ass. And I don't know if that had more to do with like the Packers going to L.A. and just not taking the game seriously because the Chargers had not been good at all. Oh. Um, m- maybe coming back, you know, they come back home. They get the ship right a little bit. Uh, I don't know if... I, I don't know what to think. If that was like the beginning of some major problems for the Packers... Because like at Matt Lafleur and that bunch have looked really good in his first season. I completely agree. I'm I'm going to roll Packers minus five here because I I think the Panthers going on the road are are just not as good as they are at home. Um, and if if you're giving me a battle of the two quarterbacks, well, okay. I mean I'm going to take Rodgers over and I, and Aaron well, yeah. Jones has been 
are like really good for the Packers this year. Yeah. Like they they have figured out Matt LaFleur has figured out what to do with Aaron Jones. And Mike McCarthy and that boy, or Mike uh, McIntyre, not McIntyre. Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy. That's, McIntyre's yeah, the right. Colorado guy. God. Um, yeah, like it, he he didn't know what to do with these guys, and the Packers, you know, the offense didn't look great, but I think I think the offense got exposed last week, and I think this Panthers right. defense might be a little bit better than the Forty ers I mean, the Forty ers than the uh, Chargers defense right now. The way it's constituted in that game because they have so many injuries and, and so many people unhealthy. I, I think the Panthers' defense is a little bit better than them. Okay. And I think they maybe gave a game plan for how to shut these guys down offensively, which their offense hadn't looked great anyway. And then also, that defense finally did not look good at all. No. They they now, looked confused. Philip Rivers, they, far better quarterback than Kyle Allen. But I think I – think I think Carolina is going to keep this game close. I think they got a fighting shot to win it. I'm going to take Carolina in the points. I think I'll take Carolina to win. Okay. I'll taking, go out on taking a Panthers I'll money take a, line. I'll take a dog. Taking Panthers money line. Okay, let's move on to Probably the next smart, one. smart, but I'll, I'll do it. Hey, it Favorites hey, don't win all the time. You got that right. They definitely don't. Let's Every talk about home team last week won and covered. Every home team that played on Sunday won and covered. That will not continue to happen. I don't think it happens in this next game. Lions at the Bears. Bears are a two and a half point favorite here. Total is 42. Now that seemed a little low to me because I think the Lions are going to be able to score. And I know that that's crazy to think because the Bears defense, of course, is stout. I think the Lions are going to be able to score. I think the Bears will be able to score on the Lions. Like, I think this is a completely different game than what people assume. I, I think this could end up being a 28-24 kind of ball game. Uh, I think the Lions win this game. I think they're better than the Bears right now. Bears have got serious problems. Yes. And and it starts with Mitch Trubisky. Oh, yeah. But but on top of that, like, this Bears defense has, has given up points this year. And I think some of it has to do with the fact that teams are getting short fields. You know, it... it you defense can't, on the field the entire time. Yeah, you can't put your defense in that many poor situations. Yeah. I like the Lions here. I, look, they're three, four, and one right now. They are a better team than that. I think they're absolutely they, a better team. I think they that. show it here. I, this Bears team, uh, they are. I think they're done. I think they're done for this season. Like mm-hmm. they're not quitting, but like I just I don't think they're very good, and I don't think that they can figure this out. Excuse me. Not I yet. I um. That happens at, at twelve fifteen or whatever. Time I, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll with the Bears. I don't like it. I don't I don't I don't love any of this. And I do think the, the Lions are so much better than they've been. Um, but I think I think the Bears aren't aren't done for the season. I think they've got a little bit left in them. They're figuring out how to run the ball. They're, they've gotten um, Montgomery the ball a whole lot more. On offense, and that's worked out well. He scored the last couple of weeks several times. And uh, I, I think they'll find a way to get in the end zone. I'm going to tell you what. Kenny Galladay is one of the most exciting players I've ever watched in my life. Yeah. I I I like that guy so much. I think he's one of the best receivers in football. Like, we don't give him credit or talk about him in the same light that we talk about that Upper tier echelon receiver. I don't know many guys that I would take over him right now. I mean, you you got a valid point. Uh, Lewis for the Lions has also been playing really really well, and it, he is a favorite target of of Stafford's. Yeah. So they they got some receivers. They got weapons for the Lions. Um, would it shock me if the Bears win this game and cover? No, and I, everything? I, I, no. I actually think this is a pretty even game. I like that the line is short because I, it needs to be less than a field goal. I think it is. Yeah, and and I think, yeah, I mean, you're, you're we're trying to pick a winner. Yeah, pretty much. And and, and it would, neither one of these would shock me. Now you you got that right. All right, next game up. Let's talk about the Thursday night game: Chargers at the Raiders. Raiders got a big win at home last week over the Lions. It was the first time they'd been home since like September fifteenth or whatever it was. Correct. And now they get to be home on a Thursday night on a short week. 
They are the dogs currently. This opened up a pick em. This Chargers team looked a lot better against the Packers last week. They changed out that offensive coordinator. This team looked competent. This team looks good. Yep. This team looked like the Super Bowl contender that I said that they would be to start the year. They really did. I don't know that that continues, though. I wonder if that was a one-week aberration. Um, this Raiders team has played really well all year. They hit on on pretty much every draft pick. Hunter Renfro looks good. Uh, uh, Cleveland Farrell looks good on the line. Josh Jacobs has been a workhorse for them. Right. Um, Derek Carr has looked good. Like, I, I just... I like the Raiders here. I think they win this game at home. I... I Wonder about, would it shock me if the Chargers come out and find a way to win this game and continue this little hot streak that they're on? No, wouldn't shock me. But I do like the Raiders being at home on a short week. Like this is, I I, I like the Raiders here. I'm going the other way. I think Phillip Rivers is one of the best quarterbacks in football still. I think there's nobody that the, the Raiders have that's going to cover Keenan Allen or Mike Williams. I think those guys have matchup problems written all over them. They get those guys going. They get the run game going with uh, with Melvin Gordon or with Austin Eckler, whoever they want to put in and give the ball to. And uh, Joey Bosa, man, he I think he got a little jelly of his brother getting all the Bosa credit. Because last week, man, he was a wrecking ball. Yeah, he, he hadn't was. been that all year. Okay? He hadn't been bad. I, I haven't watched a game of theirs and said, man, Bosa's kind of dominated this game yet. He did that last week. And if and if that's the way he's going to play, and he's he has gone to that next level, then um then they're going to be they're going to be tough to handle. I'll take the Chargers. I can uh, I can deal with that. I can but deal with I that. absolutely would not be shocked either way. I think this is a one-point line and it's gone back and forth and it's kind of a coin flip type game. Now you got that right. It it should be a good game for Thursday night. I do think this is going to be a fun Thursday night game. I absolutely do. And last game that we are going to cover, uh, we're not. This is this is our rapid fire recap, but we're only doing one. So it's been a long night. We gotta we gotta get to editing and all that kind of mess. So Rams at the Steelers. Steelers still in playoff contention. The they've got a favorable schedule to close out. Would be very helpful to get a win at home against the Rams. Um, Rams are five and three right now. Have not looked great for most of the season. I don't think the Steelers win this ball game, but that Steelers defense has been something else. Like they they have looked really good here. Like, yeah, am I am I wrong? I, why do you why do you say I'm wrong? Because you look good. You look good against a nobody. You look good against a third string quarterback. Okay. Okay. If Jacoby Brissett doesn't get his foot stepped on, then you get smoked last week. Smoked. Because he goes out in the first quarter, and you still barely hang on to win the football game. Sometimes you need those. That's fine, but that doesn't mean your defense looks good. That means your defense beat up on a helpless kid. Okay, okay. I think the defense has played pretty well this year. I like guess the only reason why they're at four and four. Okay. So, just saying, I think this could be a very interesting ball game. I think the Rams kill them. You think they kill them? I think they kill them because I don't think this Pittsburgh team is good. Okay. And I don't think I'm not getting bought into what's his ass at quarterback either. I've seen enough. Mason games. Rudolph. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. If he's I'm not the a... heir, if he's the heir apparent, I'm not. I'm not upset about the things happening in Pittsburgh. I'll be curious to see if James Conner is back in this game. He was out last game. Yeah. I, I'm curious to see that. Curious to see what the Rams do. Uh, Daryl Henderson been getting some run here lately. Todd Gurley? Like, I, I think Todd Gurley may just, he may be done. Done. Like, uh, I would be shocked. Excuse me. <laughs> I was trying to pull up. Never mind. Go ahead. Keep going. It's, uh, it's not going to work. What are we trying to pull up? We done? Nothing. I was I just wanted to see like the Steelers last couple of games. I mean, they beat the Dolphins twenty seven to fourteen. Ste- defense looked good. Boy. <laughs> Boy. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Let me let me see. I'll pull up. 
And tell me, tell me why you think the uh, the Rams destroy them. Because I think that the Rams have looked really bad, and I think they're a really well coached team. They had a bye week, and coming off that bye week, Sean McVay knows back half the season we gotta we gotta play our asses off because they're gonna miss the wild card if they don't. I think I think they know they're in trouble to win the division. They need a lot of help to win the division, but if they don't win out, they don't even make a wild card. Yeah. And I think he believes that. I think the NFC is loaded, and I think that division is loaded. And with them, the Seahawks, and what the 49ers are doing, if if they don't make up some ground, they got to beat the bad teams. And right now the Steelers are still lumped in with the Browns and a lot of other teams as being the bad teams. Steelers gave up 17 at the Chargers. They, uh, they lost to the Ravens 26-23. They gave up three to the Bengals. I, I know. Uh Let's see, lost 24-20 to the 49ers. Um, and then the first two games of the year, lose to the Seahawks, lose to the Patriots. Um, you know, gave up 14 to the Dolphins, 24 to the Colts. Eh, you know. To Brian Hoyer. Yeah. Brian Hoyer. Good gracious. All right, that's going to wrap it up. That is the NFL Week 10 Preview. We appreciate you guys for hanging around with us. Of course, go and check out everything that we've got over at winningcureseverything.com. If you're on YouTube, hit subscribe, hit that like button, share the show out, tell your buddies about it. Leave us some comments, nice comments. Hey, you know what? Leave the nasty ones too. We don't give a damn. Whatever. We appreciate all of them. Either way, regardless of what you say, you can't hurt my feelings, man. It's all good. All right. Try to. Yeah. <laughs> Go check out tunicatravel.com. Find out the latest info on what is going down at Tunica, Mississippi. We'll see you guys again next week. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.